Welcome to Gardening with Nanay! Today, I will share with you about Calamansi Indoor Care Tips. We bought this calamansi in 2015 at Safeway where we always buy food when you are so busy with kids you have to do your grocery shopping every time and I'm it's so lucky that Safeway has this uh, it was quite expensive at the time um, it's about $50 and we decided to buy it um, and the investment is truly worth it because we really enjoyed this calamansi tree since from the beginning I shot this video <laughs> at November of last year calamansi fruit flowers. takes a while to grow it's Hooray. about a year um, especially indoor that it's very mm. cold inside and we keep our temperature um, around 20 to 22 or even less <laughs> mm, the smell citrus indoor winter time we enjoy the smell of its bloom we love it on our food we even use the pill for tea It's also enjoyed by our pets, Sky and Falco. They like to nibble on the ends of some leaves. We don't mind them because they're not ruining the flowers and the fruits. How I care for my calamansi. It's located on our sunniest window, facing southwest. Should consider a grow light if you don't have a southwest facing window. Water once a week or whenever needed. During winter time, I only water every other week. Citrus don't want to sit on water. It's better to have them underwater in my case than overwatering them. Size is also important. I had a mistake of repotting it in a bigger pot because I thought it's a tree and it's big. And um, my calamansi tree really struggled so I have to size down my pot. The problem with having um, too big pot for your calamansi tree is it has more um, water retention and this is not good for the tree. It does not like it. So uh, going back to a smaller pot, um, my tree is better and and giving me more fruit.
Pruning is essential for calamansi to have fruits. I used a pruner that I clean with alcohol and I'm picking branches that um, I think is not growing fruit for a long time um, and that means to me it's a sucker or taking too much energy of the tree and when I'm pruning I consider how much light the other branches gets because um, it's a limited um, place for it to get light and I also pick out the dead, um, the damaged leaves from underwatering and some dead woods. After pruning, I'll make sure to feed it with vermicompost so it will have a better chance of healing. I am trying to incorporate the compost into the dirt on top of the soil. I also use this organic fertilizer when I want to boost my plants. I water it so the plant can absorb the food quickly. Some very young leaves for my tea. And I have some cuttings that I sewed and will try to plant. As you can see, I scraped the bottom of the branch that I will soak in uh, rooting um, liquid I before planting roots with fungicide uh, it's a liquid root stimulator or I call it root hormone <laughs> and it's from Wilson I think I got this from Home Depot so this is what I used for growing some cuttings. I used some loose soil with vermicompost. I dipped it in the rooting liquid and put it in the dirt. Then I have to cover it with plastic and I will update you on what will happen to these plants. These are some of the calamansi seed that we grew from seeds. We placed it on our south window. I also want to share with you what are the problems um, I encountered growing calamansi. Uh, first, when we got uh, the chance to bring them out, um, they brought in some spider mites. So you have to watch over for that. Um, I recommend to not bring out your calamansi because they, they are very susceptible to spider mites. Um, I treated the spider mites um, from my calamansi and my lemon tree. And to be honest with you, I'm still battling with spider mites up to this moment. And, um, and beside the... the the potting size um, as I said uh, don't don't overdo it don't be so quick to grow it in a big pot and always um, feed your calamansi because this citrus tree are really um, needing some some food especially if it's um, a container um, container gardening um, you always have to feed them. I hope you learned something new today and hope to see you on the next video. Bye!